What a joy it is for me to welcome you to 120 Live right here on the Great Word Network. Now listen, don't miss a moment of this program. It is one of the most extraordinary revelations you will ever hear. We have a great studio audience from Valor Christian College with us tonight. Dr. Steve Muncy is going to be bringing you an, an amazing word. And then we're coming right back out here where your prayer requests are going to be placed on this great brazen altar and millions are going to believe for your miracle. Stay right there. The following is a special presentation of the Word Network from the High Definition Studios of Breakthrough in Columbus, Ohio. Like the 120 gathered on the day of Pentecost, your life could be changed in a moment as Rod Parsley believes for the power of God's Holy Spirit to meet your greatest needs. Tonight on 120 Live with Rod Parsley. Hello, everybody. Are you? Come on, Elder. Yes, Everybody say hello to Elder Germain Brunson. Hello, everyone. You're going to help co-host with me a little bit tonight. Yes, sir. Because Ashton Blair, I don't know, she's somewhere doing seriously or something. Yes, she's sir. seriously doing something else tonight. <laughs> yes, But is. we are so glad that you are there. This is a very, very, very special broadcast from the High Def Studios of your breakthrough right here in Columbus, Ohio. We are so glad that you are right there tonight. You have been strategically positioned for a breakthrough. Yes, sir. You, you know, they're going to get tonight, they're going to get a sudden, sudden burst, burst of advanced, of advanced knowledge. knowledge. That's revelation. Yes, sir that's going to propel them, propel them through, through every line, every line of, Satan's of Satan's defense. defense. 2017, yes, sir. his kingdom yes, sir. coming down oh, in your life, in your family. It's prophetic. God scheduled it just for you. How about this wonderful studio audience we've got oh. here tonight? So glad to see you. Y'all get your shout on. Tonight we're celebrating. Now God, God knows about a party. Now I know you've been saved since you were born, right? Um, no, sir. Do you know what a party is? Oh, yes, sir. Ain't no party like a Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost party. party. Now. now, but you, you used to be acquainted with another kind of party. I did, sir. One toke over the line, sweet Jesus. <laughs> hoping that the train is on time. You all too young to know anything about that. But at least back then you could understand the words. Now I can't get to words. I have to get, I, somebody trying to show me, you know, share music with me, I have to say, well, give me the liner because I pull it up online because I don't get those words. God knows about a party. Jesus performed his first miracle at a party, a wedding feast in Cana of Galilee where he turned water into wine. Yes, and once it became wine, get ready to shout, it never did go back to water again. That's the miracle. Things, Elder, things are happening. Yes. We might say things if we're from North Carolina. Yes, sir. I see you wore your colors tonight. I had to, sir. Yeah, had OH. To represent. OH. Oh, look where I am. <laughs> At least three of you are from the Buckeye State. But tonight we're celebrating. God set his celestial calendar. He, he does it, you know. Sometimes preachers have a real fancy watch and it'll have diamonds all over it, you know. That's okay if that's what you like. God doesn't mind you having diamonds. Do you have one? Look at that. Look at that. Are you engaged? You're not. But you have a diamond. It's a purity ring. That's better. That's better. Give her a applause for purity. We have a purity ceremony at Valor Christian College every year. Yes, sir. And I'm so proud of you for that. So proud of you for that. 
but diamonds are cool. Somebody, some, there was a movie that said diamonds are a girl's best friend. I don't know about that, but some girls say it is. Well, Jesus set his watch, God Almighty. And if you think a diamond embezzled Rolex is something, you ought to see God's watch piece. Come on, Pastor. You ought to see the time piece of our fathers. You can tonight. Just go out after the sun has broken meridian horizon. Just go out there where the saffron and the orange and the gold are blazing across the sky. And wait just a moment. Momentarily, you'll see God's timepiece. They say that in the northernmost part of the constellation Orion is a huge gaping black hole. They say that it's 16 trillion, 640 billion miles in diameter. How beautiful heaven must be. Sweet home of the ransomed and free. Fair haven of rest for the weary. How beautiful heaven must be. God said three times a year, my alarm clock's about to go off in the heavens. And I want you to know what it means. It means that God is going to get up from his throne. Everybody be seated. Pretend you're God. Lucifer leads a rebellion across the landscape of God's heaven. He gathers a third of the angelic hosts with him. And he makes the announcement that he is going to overthrow the throne of God himself. And God did exactly what all of you are doing right now. He sat unmoved he's unmovable about what the devil's trying to do in your life too because he knows that what he did through his son on the rugged angry mean biting beam called calvary crushed the devil's authority in every area of your life he sat while lucifer ran his rebellion but god said Three times a year, I'm going to stand up. And he said, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to draw closer to you than at any time during the year. Three appointments with God. And he said, when I come, don't get all solemn. Don't look all sad. I'm putting my party hat on. God said, we're going to celebrate Moedim three times in a year. And the third one of this prophetic year is about to be upon us. As the sun sets, announcing the beginning of God's holiest day of the entire year. The great day of atonement. The feast season. Tabernacles. Hallelujah. 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 Feel the presence of God right now. God said in tabernacles, I'm coming even closer than the other two times of the year. Passover and Pentecost. I want you to prepare for my presence. Oh God. So he announces the whole thing on Rosh Hashanah. He calls it the beginning of a new year, right in the middle of a year. You can determine the next year. Tonight, God will. You hear what I just said? That's preaching up in here for a white boy. Listen. Huh? He's going to seal it. You can fix your financial situation for the next 12 months tonight. You can walk in divine health for the next 12 months. During the next 12 months, you can see every member of your family loosed from the chains of addiction and bondage and pride and religion. Somebody shout up in here. And then, at the end of that 10 days, is the day of atonement. You know how God seals it? 
with the atoning blood of Jesus. That's what's going to be applied tonight to your situation. No devil can run from it. No disease can escape it. Tonight. You ought to be texting everybody you know, calling everybody you know, emailing everybody you know. Get on there right now. Pastor Rod, Dr. Muncy, Elder Brunson, they're ready to change your life forever. Now listen to me. After that, there are eight days. I'm telling you about the season we're in right now. There are eight days. And at the end of that, tabernacles is over. God's going to dwell with you as you could never imagine. Now, as the sun sets announcing the beginning of God's holiest day, Dr. Muncy and I, together with millions around the world, are going to bring your prayer requests before the Almighty God in agreement on His holiest day of the year. I want you, I want to invite you right now to participate with us. I want you to get involved. God always says, I'll do this if you do that. So let me help you step into what God wants to do for you. I want you to send me a list of your greatest needs, your greatest requests before the throne of God, and then I'm going to place them on the brazen altar with its four horn corners. He was bruised for your iniquities. Yes, the chastisement of your peace was laid upon yes, him. Sir. With his stripes you are healed. Yes, sir. And we're gonna burn those requests as a glorious, sweet-smelling savor into the presence of God, and as they disappear, before God's celestial timetable, you'll be reminded that God has erased them from your life for the next 12 months. Seven unique blessings, Dr. Br Dr. Dr. Muncy is gonna share with you seven unique blessings of the atonement, everyone to be released into your life. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands, look at them, Elder. You see them come in, pour in. You go over there into the mail room. You watch them pouring in. You watch the people working on them and opening them and praying over them. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands are already here, but yours isn't here yet. You need to go to your phone. Right now, right now, dial that toll-free number on your screen. Do it right now. Don't hesitate. Procrastination is always the devil's number one tool. Do it now. Do it right now dial that toll free number and send us your prayer requests we're going to harvest music live in just a moment in just a moment but not yet not quite yet have i convinced you i know this dr muncie shared briefly with me today what god has shown him about this exact time and i almost fell off my chair tell everybody you know if you're not moved yet you will be i yes, promise sir. you yes sir because you will not want to miss this opportunity no, no, no. so get ready get that phone beside you it's going to be an extraordinary time right here tonight go to your phone right now get those prayer requests in get them in Get him in. Oh, the devil wants you to put it on. Get him in. Your son can be free. Your daughter can be saved. Your wife can come home. Yes. The cancer can go. Yes. The problem can leave. Yes. This is your time. Yes. Celebrate.
Elder, they're calling. Yes, they are, Pastor. Pastor, we just received a prayer request from Daisy in Michigan, who is believing Now, that wait a minute. Michigan. Michigan. Wait a minute. Uh -oh. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Kevin Adele and all them up there, and the Word Network and all that stuff up in there. Yes, sir. But, you know, I don't know. Can I pray over maize and blue? Listen, we're going to believe that the blood all is right, strong It's football season. You know, we got to be careful. <laughs> we are believing. She is believing that her son uh -huh. will receive hearing in this season of Father, atonement. in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We speak to deafness right now. Yes, sir. We command you on the authority of God's word. You foul and tormenting sickness, disease, pain. <laughs> I bind we you. Bind you now. I cast you into the sea cast you and into commend the you to return never again. I plead the blood plead over the blood. that situation right now. Yes, Pastor Reed called in. Him and his wife, her, him and his wife are believing for a little one in this season, and they need a financial breakthrough. Right here, they're believing for a baby. Yes, sir. Right here, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the Holy Ghost. I'm going to move right into this now. Y'all be seated. I didn't, I didn't know that was a request that we had. But I need to lead into a few comments that I want to make just before Dr. Muncie speaks to the world one of the most profound prophetic words I've ever heard. Allow me to set the stage for that just momentarily. These are extraordinary, really unbelievable times. In fact, your Bible says, lest God would shorten those days, men's hearts would fail them for fear. Now, this very day, how old are you? 24. Who's younger than her? How old are you? You're 20. That's good. Come here. Come here, beautiful young lady. What are you doing in Columbus, Ohio? At Valor Christian College. I thought you might be a Valor student. Well, you're lovely. Where are you from? Columbus, Ohio. You're from Columbus. Can any good thing, people ask me all the time, can any good thing come from Columbus, Ohio? Here is the proof. Right here. Right here. Right here. We are so proud of you being at the School of the Spirit today, this very day. I was in a meeting. Someone came into the room very quickly. They opened their tablet. They said, Pastor, this has just happened in our city. What? A 19, no, 17, 17 year old mother put a knife in her hand and stabbed to death her one-year-old baby. This is, this is something that would make one's heart fail them for fear. Her grandmother, the grandmother of that baby, has attended our church for over 20 years. We turn on the news. At this very moment, wildfires are raging so out of control on the West Coast, from Oregon to Washington to Montana to Idaho to California, from the North to the South. They are reporting that in many of those areas, they are the worst wildfires as far as devastating loss to ever hit the west coast of this country. That'll make your heart fail you for fear. I preached a series of messages called A Time to Speak because racial hatred is boiling over in our nation. To the, to the point that people are driving through crowds and killing innocent people. You weren't alive in the 60s, but I was. 
I remember the killings at Kent State University just up the road from here. I remember the burnings and the lootings and the mayhem. And now it's all back. On a scale we've never seen it. We've just come through a hurricane. But a hurricane wasn't enough. It had to drop in some areas five feet of rain. Entire cities are destroyed. Lives and homes wrecked and ruined. We don't. We don't know. Hurricane Irma on its heels approaching a category six never heard of never heard of winds of 185 miles an hour sustained winds devastating my we have 10 churches in Pakistan through City Harvest Network. People are fleeing for their lives in India and Bangladesh. And there, where our churches are. It seems that men are running for their lives. Millions are displaced. And then what about that eclipse? What about that eclipse? Dr. Muncy is going to share things with you in a moment that are either going to make your heart fail you for fear or make you want to throw your chair wherever you are and just shout the praises of God. There has never been a time like this. There has never been a program like this. But I don't have a sad story to tell you. My heart is not failing me for fear because I know a little bit of what Dr. Muncy is going to share with us tonight. And I'm here to tell you that Jesus is either getting ready to slide his long lean Galilean leg over a steaming white stallion and the crack of his long whip billow out like the crash of a thousand cannons. And if you're blood bought and blood washed, you're going to leap off this planet. Or, or the black hairs on the head of damnation are going to grow white with horror. The seas are going to be seething. You think we're seeing something right now in this prophetic it's going to be shared with you from the Word of God tonight. While the front page of your newspaper is reading like the back pages of your Bible, you're going to find out tonight this was all prophesied. It's all coming to pass exactly as Jesus foretold it in Matthew 24, in Revelation chapter 12, in Ezekiel 47. It's all upon us. You say, well, Pastor, why aren't you afraid? Well, because I'm going to make a trip. I might sing my song here in a minute on a good old gospel ship. Hallelujah. And if you're not ready, what good news you've got. Don't, don't frown now. If you're not ready to go to heaven, don't frown. Don't frown. You ought to shout if you're not ready to meet God because the signs are telling us every moment that we're getting closer and closer. You say, why would that make me shout? Because you're not in hell yet. You're, a, you're not in that place where men gnaw their tongues for pain. You don't look for death, but death is looking for you. You don't, you don't understand that the time is soon and very soon when your veins will become nothing more than highways for the hot feet of pain to travel. When your veins will become nothing more than strings upon which Satan will play the diabolical tune of hell's unalterable lament. You don't understand that the highway systems 
of every city, not just Houston, are about to flap in the breath of God like ribbons in a noonday breeze. You don't understand that the seas are going to be seething and the world is going to be dying and the moon is going to be bleeding and the seas are about to spill their dead in the lap of God. But I'm not frightened. I'm ready to shout. Because soon and very soon, I'm going to see the king. Loved ones, please listen. I think you ought to know, if we meet not again in this world below, if death finds me missing, and you can't understand, there's an old book by my bedside. It'll tell you where I am. If Jesus does not come during this season, during this year, we're promised a double portion, outpouring of his blessing. That ought to make everybody want to shout and run. Deuteronomy chapter 16. You can sit down. Deuteronomy chapter 16 and verse 16 records that three times in a year, God commands us. Let me share with you now. The commands of God are not optional. They're not flexible. He commands us to come before him and not to come empty-handed. Dr. Muncie will share with you why we believe with all of our hearts that during this season, some year, possibly this year, Jesus will come. And that if he doesn't, your Bible promises a double portion outpouring of seven blessings in your life. This season, right now, is a portal. Now, folks talk about a window, but a window usually stays up or down. A portal opens and closes, opens and closes. What God's talking about is a portal, and what's going to come through it has to come through at the appointed time, or it doesn't come through. Let me encourage you right now to express your faith in God that he will do everything that he promised to do during this season by you obeying his command to not come before him in this season empty-handed. You say, Pastor, what do I do? Well, the Bible says that during this season they blew 100 trumpets. Let's transpose that with $100 to put a $50 gift in each hand, symbolizing a double portion released to you by worshiping God with that $100 seed. You say, Pastor, I can't do the 100. Then put 25 in each hand and believe for the next 50. But many of you can do much, much more. Many of you should put a $100 seed in each hand and worship with $200. Some of you should put a $500 seed in each hand and worship with that extraordinary $1,000 seed that gets heaven's attention because it gets yours. And believe God that during this time, like no other time, for God to pour out seven uncommon miracles in your life. Dial that toll-free number on your screen. Do it right now. God has scheduled a divine appointment with you on his calendar. The great day of atonement, Yom Kippur. It's almost here. Please don't miss it. Honor God. Do it now with your very best atonement seed as God commanded. Our prayer partners are standing by to receive your call. So in faith, so with expectancy. And let's believe God together for your atonement miracle. Coming up, more of tonight's special edition of 120 Live. Jesus has already paid the price for your redemption. You can't earn it. You can only honor it. On September 29th, the great day of atonement and God's holiest day of the year, He commands us to come before Him and not to come empty-handed. Honor God with your very best atonement seed. Call now, rush your letter in the mail, or go to rodparsley.com to sow ministry truth into your life. 
With your atonement seat of $100 or more, you'll receive Dr. Parsley's new two-disc series, The Seven Anointings of the Atonement, to help you discern the prophetic significance of this supernatural season. You'll also receive a handcrafted replica of the Ark of the Covenant, a wonderful reminder of the sacrifice Jesus made for you. In addition, when you sow $200 or more, you'll receive a signed copy of Dr. Parsley's Legacy Family Bible with many of his most impactful teachings. It's an elegant heirloom your family will cherish for generations to come, where you can record the living legacy of faith of your family. And for everyone who determines to honor God with an atonement seat of $1,000 or more, you'll also receive a genuine three-foot shofar like the ones in Bible days that heralded the Day of Atonement and Christ's return, a beautiful keepsake from the Holy Land for your office or home. But don't delay. The deadline is September 29th. Write, call, or sew securely at rodparsley.com. Honor God with your atonement seed today and get ready for the release of the seven anointings of the atonement that can usher in a new beginning for you. Now, with more of 120 Live, here is Pastor Rod Parsley. Well, bless the Lord. What a time we are having. Don't forget now. Call that number on your screen. You cannot. I'm telling you, you better get that, that phone ready and get it beside you if I haven't convinced you so far because you're about to be convinced. I don't believe there's ever been a time like this right now on the earth. I believe something extraordinary is happening and something more extraordinary is about to happen. He's the pastor of Family Christian Center in the greater Chicagoland area. And he has a word for you tonight. Listen, if you're ever around Chicago on a Wednesday night, uh, look, get there early at one of their several services on Wednesday night. It is a worldwide phenomenon what goes on midweek at that great church. I love them so much, such a part of my life. He's got a word for you tonight. It's, gonna, it's just going to blow your mind. Are you ready? Yeah. Welcome Dr. Steve Munsey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you audience, thank you, thank you for you. God bless you. God bless you. In the next few moments, you that are watching me, there's a miracle coming through this television camera. Yes, yes. The screen you're watching me on is about to bring you something mm -hmm. more powerful. Oh. I believe, because it's not an accident, that you, not everybody, just you, yeah. being right where you are. This is a season of atonement. You see that behind me. Yes. You see that behind me among these thousands. And in just a few minutes, live television yes. almost, if I can say that. Yes. We're leaving the studio, going outside. There's a huge fire. fire. There's an altar in which Pastor Parley has created. Yes. And these, these incredible requests, and you have time right now, right now. to get on the phone and say, this is what I'm believing God. We're going to put it on the altar and we're going to burn it in the fire. Ah. And how many of you in the studio believe God's about to do something incredible <laughs> in somebody's life? At this moment, as we are on, I call it almost live television, because you're going to feel just what we feel yes, yes. as we are in this moment. You see atonement behind me, and this is the season in which is the atonement or Feast of Tabernacles. Let's break it down with simplicity. There's three important days to God, Passover, Pentecost, and atonement. Yes. We'll leave the Passover and the Pentecost as it is, but quickly can tell you Jesus died at Passover, and Pentecost was the beginning of the church yes. in the book of Acts. It wasn't the Catholic Church. Love you, Pope. Think right. you're great. I pray for you. You got a big responsibility in Rome and the whole world. But he will say, if we could introduce the Pope tonight, he would tell you, too, that the Catholic Church did not start the church. Right. The church started on the day of Pentecost yes. Yes. with the apostles yes. 
And then all the Baptists and the Methodists and the Charismatics and the Assemblies and 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 the and the and the you you all kind of came out of that, right? Right? Am I pretty much to hit that pretty much in simplicity? I'm not trying to be argumentative. I'm not trying to be a theologian to mess up your thought of patterns of your faith. I'm just trying to say that that's what happened on the day of Pentecost. Now, what is happening right now in atonement? What is happening at this moment in atonement is that God has a third, he has a third day in which Passover, Pentecost, and atonement. Atonement is the day in which God makes decisions about the whole earth. In a few days, or even as you're watching, this is the birthday of the earth. Right. On right. the day of atonement is the sixth day of the creation of the earth right. in which God created man. So we're in the birthday of the earth. We're on the sixth day in which God makes all decisions about man and what he's going to do in the next coming moments or minutes or hours or days or weeks right now. Now, no doubt, no doubt since Pentecost and Passover has been fulfilled, Jesus died at Pentecost. Um, excuse me, Jesus died at Passover, and then Jesus died, or excuse me, excuse me, Jesus died at Passover, and then the church started at Pentecost. Right. Now, what's going to happen now? What, what is this season? This is the season in which he will make the decision to come back. That's right. Now, we don't know the hour of the day. That's, a, that's, that's correct. We don't know the hour of the day because the hour that is in Columbus, Ohio at this point <laughs> is different than Detroit or L.A. Teach or us. Japan. Teach so us, we, cannot, we cannot say what hour. Yes. Neither can we say the day because this day that you're upon is different than the China day. That's right. So let's agree we don't know the hour or the day. That's right. But we must agree, according to 1 Thessalonians, when Paul said, you know the season. Teach us. Does that make sense? Yes. You follow me so yes, far? Sir. I got to have you. I got to have you. If I got you, I got you. Right. I got you. So, this is the season in which he's going to make a decision to come back. And this is what he does. He says, I'm going to give you the first month. I'm going to give you the beginning, which... What I'm going to do is call it Rosh Hashanah. And that will be the first day. And then on that first day, I need you to repent for 10 days. Right. On the Day of Atonement, I will make a decision. Right. Then the next eight days, I will celebrate. <laughs> and in those eight days talk, is when doctor. I come back. Talk, doctor. Now let me talk a little further so that, that you're, you're staring me down. You're watching me. Now get ready because something's getting ready to happen to you. I'm talking about miracles that are getting ready to happen. When you go to Israel right now, if you go to Israel or any Jewish community in the world, they right now are putting, they're putting tents up and they're going out on their porches because they call it Sukkot. The Bible says God wanted Israel to be outside after the day of atonement for eight days. Yes. That's when God said, that's when you feast and you have fun and you have the party that Dr. Parsley was talking about simply because you've repented for 10 days. I have accepted your repentance. Now I'm getting ready to bless you with seven blessings. Hallelujah. So that means go outside. What does that mean to us? That means he's saying to you and I, get ready on the day of atonement. I'm going to make some decisions. Right. The next eight days, lift up your head. Get outside. Ah. Look, up Look up for your redemption drawing nigh. Is, 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 are you getting this? If you got it, you got it. Now, watch this. There are seven things that are going to happen. Seven things. One we begin the double portion. Now, everything is listed in Joel 2. He says, I'm going to give you the double, or I'm going to give you the former and the double portion in the first month. What's the first month? That's Rosh Hashanah. That's the first month. I'm going to give you the former, and I'm going to give you the latter. I'm going to give you double portion beginning in the first month. If you repent for 10 days, get your life ready. Stand before me with the offering, and right. you begin to prepare your heart. I'm going to pour out seven blessings, and the first one is double portion. He goes on and says, in, he says all of this in Joel. You can just follow it. Second thing, he says, I'm going to give you a financial blessing. 
I don't know about you. I love you, government. I love you, bank. I love you, job. But when God gets in the bonus hey, business, God. that's when you really want his best. Yeah. Then he says, then he says, I'm going to restore whatever the devil has stolen from you. Has he, uh, has he taken your health? Has he taken there your children? Has he taken your marriage? Has he taken whatever? He's going to restore that. That's number three. Anybody getting ready for God Get to ready. pour out your blessing? Number four, he's going to show up with special miracles that you've been praying about, God, but it. he's going to do abundantly do above it, what you ask or what you even see do or it, even Jesus. Number five, he's going to show up with his divine presence. Number six, he's going to pour out upon your sons and your daughters, and then God is going to bring deliverance. That's all going to happen in the next few days, and it's going to happen to you in the next yes, few moments. Is. I release that unto you. But now I want to tell you something. If this is the season that he's going to come back, and this is the season that he is going to put double portion on us, and God is going to pour out his spirit, and this is the decision time, then let me say to you that if this is the time he is to come back, which will be the season, right. told me season, right. then what is he doing right now? On the 21st of August, we had an eclipse. Talk. God speaks through the sun, moon, and the stars. Yes, he does. Luke tells us there are signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. On the 21st of, of August, we had an eclipse. That eclipse in America started from Salem, Oregon, and went to Salem, North, South Carolina. When I left this afternoon, a brother from Columbus said, did you know that the eclipse passed through 14 states and touched seven Salems? What does Salem mean? Jerusalem. Peace. Melchizedek. <laughs> Meaning that eclipses is when God talks to us. There was an eclipse when the door of the ark shut. There was an eclipse the last night that Israel was in Egypt. There was an eclipse when Joshua fought in the battle on, and God put the sun and moon together. There was an eclipse when Jesus Christ died hey. at 3 o'clock in the middle of the day. In other words... He's trying to tell us something. He said, I'll give you signs in the sun, the stars. And he said, there will be perplexities. There will be, there, there, there will be distresses. And then he says, the seas will roar. Come on. What happened after August 21st? Harvey came that out came. of the Gulf. Irma, at 185 miles an hour, has already done its damage. We have never lived in a time in which God is trying to speak to us yes. through the sun the stars, and the moon through an eclipse. Wow. But let me tell you something else. On the 23rd of September, <laughs> the constellation Woo! of Virgo, according to Revelations 12, is in position that Jupiter will come out of the womb of Virgo or the Virgin Mary in the constellation. That has not happened in 2,000 years. Talk to us. The last time that happened was when Jesus was born in 3 B.C. at 5.30 in the evening when the constellation that the wise men followed <laughs> happened at 5.30, 3 B.C., September 11th. The 23rd at 5.30 in Jerusalem. It's going to happen again. Hasn't happened in 2,000 years. What in God's name is he telling us with an eclipse and the consolation? You better lift up your heads. There it is. The, your redemption draweth nigh. <laughs> producer, producer, how many minutes? Director, how many minutes? This is a sudden... This is a sudden moment for every person. Listen, listen, listen. You better be seated before we're raptured out of here. There it is. I was sitting over there on the sidelines while you were speaking, and the Holy Spirit spoke to me. This is live. Never said this in my church. Never said this at a conference. After Jesus was born, eight days later, he was taken to the temple True. to be circumcised. True. And Simeon had been waiting and said, he promised me I would see him before I would die. That's a man sitting at the temple. Eight days after the 23rd of September will be the first day of tabernacles. 
doesn't mean that he'll come on the 23rd, but he's going to make an appearance <laughs> with double portion. Do it, Jesus. Let me tell you, if I go to heaven, baby, that's going to be a double portion. <laughs> Sir, this could be my last broadcast on live, almost live television. Talk to us, Doc. You won't see me or Rob Parsley or any of these that are in the studio audience. Better sit down before we all run out of here and look up. Because in a moment we're going outside and we're going to, you got to get on the phone. Yeah. Never in the history of that Bible and what is so ironic that the second chapter of Joel that gives you the seven blessings and tells you it's coming in the first month ends up by saying there shall be signs in the moon and the sun and the stars. Did I make it plain? Did you get what I said tonight? Yes, sir. If you got it, then you got it. There's a miracle getting ready to happen. God. I wouldn't play with my bing bing or bring bring or That's right. jewelry or my tires or my house or my suits or my shoes. I would figure out what do I need to do wow. because this is an urgent hour. It is. What do I do? First thing you do is make sure you're in repentance while you're hearing this. Right, right. Right. By the 29th, when atonement happens, make sure you're ready yeah. because the next eight days, anything could happen. Are you saying he's coming back? Don't know when, but I'm not stupid enough myself to act like it could not happen. Yes, it could. I'm going to be ready. Ready, ready. When he comes. What do I do? God said, I want you to repent. And number two, he said, at atonement time, I want you to take your hands and I want you to lift them up and I want you to put something in them. I'm not making this up. No. Deuteronomy 16, 16 says that if you will stand before me and do not stand empty handed Jesus. and lift it up on the day of atonement, I will send the seven blessings. I will put double portion on you. Jeez. If you are watching me, sir, ma'am, if ever you gave, if ever you, if you ever listened to a message, because giving from your hands is nothing more than worship to God. That's it. Something tells me because the eclipse happened from Salem, Oregon to Salem, South Carolina. It covered 14 states, which means double portion. Meaning, and there are seven Salems that the eclipse and what, what was God doing anyway on the 21st? Was he trying to get us all outside to look up? Yeah, yeah. Is he telling us something? He sure is. Yes, he is. I need you to go to your phone. You say, what do I do when I pick up the phone? Some of you got your phone already in your hand. You've been Facebook and you've been, you've been texting while I've been talking and watching me because you're good at doing two things at one time and I compliment you. But I would get on that phone and I would look on that screen and I would begin to dial it. And as you're dialing it, God is looking down and what you're saying is, Lord, I'm going to give a $200 in this, in this hand, $200 in this hand. And God, I'm dialing right now. And when you dial the numbers, even though it's the numbers on your screen, you're actually dialing heaven. Isn't it? God listens to the phone and says, what are you doing? And said, God, unashamedly at the atonement season, you asked me to stand before oh, you with God. an offering. Why 200 in one hand, 200 in the, in the other hand? I don't know, double portion. I'm, I just feel, oh God, that I uh, must do this because it must be a sacrifice because if it moves you, if it's hard well, for yes. you, then it moves God yes. to do great, incredible things in your life. In a few minutes, we're going to go outside. Dr. Parsley's going outside on the campus. We're all going out, and we are going to see the requests go up. But what's coming down is a double portion and a restoration, yes. and your family yes. is getting yes. ready to be saved. Jesus. And I don't know. 
I don't know, sir. Oh, Jesus. I wish I could promise you we will be here next year. But, you can't. but the headquarters of Breakthrough Ministry will be taken over by the Antichrist himself. That's right. But we're out of here. We're out of here. We have blown the trumpet Thank in Zion. God. We are about to go. Hey, hey, hey. You better get your shout on. You better get it on. We're not sad. Well. We're getting our shout on. He's coming back with a shout. We're going up in a shout. I need everybody to lift your right hand. They're doing it right now. The people are calling. Yes, go call. Go call. No, go call. Go call right now. Go call right now. Stand there and say, I will give in each hand $200. I will respond. And everybody in this, in this studio audience just start believing the outpouring is happening right now. This could be our last appeal, our last offering upon the earth. Jesus. This could be. The moment God's speaking through to us with the eclipse, he's speaking to us through the consolation that has not happened for 2,000 years. That's happening right now that Jupiter will move out of the, out of the womb of Virgo or Virgin in the sky. The exact consolation that happened 2,000 years ago. What? This is an incredible moment. Go to your phone right now. There's a miracle getting ready to happen. Keep dialing the phone. Somebody clap your hands. Somebody believe God right now. Go to your phone. Go to your phone. Come on, let's keep going. Go to your phone. Go to your phone. Go to your phone. Just keep clapping. Just keep clapping. Because in the next few minutes, we're taking all of these requests and we're going to put them on the altar of fire. And Rob Parsley's going to lift his hands. And it could be the last atonement offering. But God's getting ready to put double portion on you. Go to your phone now and say, here is my offering. Thank you, Jesus. Dr. Muncy, come here. Come here. Let's agree. Everybody, everybody, run and get around these requests. Run, 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 Father. Father, in the name of Jesus. That's what it's going to be like. We're, we're coming out of here. We are going to believe God as we take these requests outside as a symbol that whatever was your problem that you sent is not your problem after tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we bind every sickness and disease every pain and malady, every malfunction and infirmity. Some of you right now, while they're praying behind me, have yet to pick up your phone. Let me encourage you right now, pick up that phone. Dial that you tried everything else. Why don't you test God? Why don't you give God an opportunity? He's aligning the heavens to shout it to you. He's had two prophetic voices now proclaiming it to you. Don't be left out. Go to your phone right now. Dial that toll-free number and say, I have to get my request there. Hurry. Mix your praying and your giving. God said, do not come before me empty-handed. Put that seed in your hand right now. Dial that toll-free number on your screen. We are heading outside in a very few seconds to the great brazen altar. Keep calling, keep calling, keep calling, keep calling. The devil doesn't want me to say it again because he doesn't want you to call because he knows God has your miracle ready. We're heading out there. Join us. Dial that number. Do it now. Jesus has already paid the price for your redemption. You can't earn it, you can only honor it. On September 29th, the great day of atonement and God's holiest day of the year, he commands us to come before him and not to come empty handed. Honor God with your very best atonement seed. Call now, rush your letter in the mail or go to rodparsley.com to sow ministry truth into your life. 
With your atonement seat of $100 or more, you'll receive Dr. Parsley's new two-disc series, The Seven Anointings of the Atonement, to help you discern the prophetic significance of this supernatural season. You'll also receive a handcrafted replica of the Ark of the Covenant, a wonderful reminder of the sacrifice Jesus made for you. In addition, when you sow $200 or more, you'll receive a signed copy of Dr. Parsley's Legacy Family Bible with many of his most impactful teachings. It's an elegant heirloom your family will cherish for generations to come, where you can record the living legacy of faith of your family. And for everyone who determines to honor God with an atonement seat of $1,000 or more, you'll also receive a genuine three-foot shofar like the ones in Bible days that heralded the Day of Atonement and Christ's return, a beautiful keepsake from the Holy Land for your office or home. But don't delay. The deadline is September 29th. Write, call, or sew securely at rodparsley.com. Honor God with your atonement seed today and get ready for the release of the seven anointings of the atonement that can usher in a new beginning for you. Now, with more of 120 Live, here is Pastor Rod Parsley. Well, we're all here. Dr. Steve Munsey, wonderful audience of students from Valor Christian College, the School of the Spirit. And I'm your host, Pastor Rod Parsley. We're here in the great Breakthrough Memorial Garden. We're just days from right now on the great Day of Atonement, Friday, September 29th, Dr. Steve Muncy and myself will be joining you right here at the Great Brazen Altar. Together, we'll bring your most urgent prayer requests and needs before the throne of grace, and then we're going to set them on fire, Doctor. We are going to burn them symbolically right here, and believe God for all seven of those blessings of the atonement to be released in your life. What an anointed holy night that's going to be. Absolutely. And so all of the requests, and uh, you have brought all the requests as you have called them in, yeah. you've emailed them in. Yeah. This fire is getting ready to con <laughs> be consuming I'll your believe. request. We're going to believe mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. that in the name of Jesus, the yeah. double portion is coming <laughs> on your life. <laughs> And we are, we are out here because we believe that soon and very soon he's going to split that eastern yeah. sky. Yeah. And if it's not this year, it will be during this season in one year. And if it doesn't come this year, that double portion oh, anointing is Sorry. coming. You want to be a part of it. So get your request to us right now so we can place them right here on the brazen altar. And then put that date on your smartphone, on your calendar, on your refrigerator. Friday, September 29th, as the setting sun announces the great day of atonement. 8 o'clock Eastern, live on Rod Parsley TV. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Muncy. Thank you. We Thank will you. be back here in just a few short days to honor God on that holiest day, the day of atonement. We'll all see you then. Amen. Praise God.